All right, so uh, we're going to talk today about Play Clean Go, Stop Invasive Species in Your Tracks. Uh, so a quick overview. Um, again, we'll talk about what Play Clean Go is, the problem it addresses, its foundations, uh, why it is now the best invasive species prevention outreach campaign for all of North America, um, how the campaign works, resources for partners. We've got some new ones uh, just launched and more coming online soon. Um, who's involved and opportunities for collaboration. And um, so what's the problem? As we all know, these bad guys are the problem. This is what we're all trying to um, manage or prevent. Um, these are obviously just a few of the issues that you all are working with. Um, but really, the problem is also this. Um, it's these happy people enjoying nature. <laughs> Um, but what they're doing unintentionally is transporting invasive species on their shoes, on their boats, on their bike tires, on their horses' hooves, etc. Um, so uh, the other problem is uh, is this. Um, now this is actually this is not showing inv an invasive species related program or problem, sorry, but it is showing the behavioral problem that we're trying to combat, and that is laziness. People are lazy. Um, I, I mean, I don't want to say <laughs> they're always lazy, but we have this tendency, if things are not easy for us, we're not necessarily going to do what we should do. So what we need to do is create solutions um, that make it easy for us to do things. And that's why recycling programs, um, uh, that's why successful recycling programs are successful, because they, um, they teach the behavior, they provide the right tools, um, it, and it's a clear, consistent message. When you see this logo, this recycling logo, you know exactly what you need to do. Um, and you know that your trash does not go in that bin. Um, we also have to place tools where it makes the most sense um, and where it's going to be effective. We know from research that if you place the recycling bin even 20 feet away from the trash bin, people are not going to take those extra 20 steps and put their uh, recyclable materials where in the recycling bin. Um, they're going to dump it in the trash. So uh, we know from this example of recycling programs that um, it, that you've got to put the tools right where people are doing the behavior that you are trying to change. Um, so in this case, putting the recycling bins right next to the trash bin. So there is no additional, there are no additional steps required to get your recycled material into the right place. Okay. Going back to the topic at hand, what this means for invasive species is providing the tools right where people are going to use them at trailheads. Um, and, and not just trailheads, but I'll talk a little bit in, in a little bit about um, boat landings and any other recreation access point. Um, so we have to think about strategically placing tools, uh, but not just that, also reminding people. We are forgetful. We need to be reminded of what we need to do. And uh, so not just at those places where we want to change behavior, but where we're also going to receive input and information, uh, billboards, social media, flyers, newsletters, we've got to remind folks what they need to do. Um, so here's just an example back to the recycling um, behavior of where we are providing that those reminders in multiple communication tools. Um, jumping back to invasive species, I'll talk a little bit more about how we are providing partners with um, tools through a variety of different communication channels uh, to reach your audience of recreationists, to uh, remind them of the behavior we want them to do, which is to clean their gear before entering and exiting the recreation area. Um, just another example of a very uh, recognized uh, symbol that now, you know, because of its successful, basically, branding efforts, uh, you know, recreationists, especially people who really enjoy uh, camping and, and being in forests, uh, people know not to, uh, you know, do things that would cause forest fires. Just seeing Smokey the Bear reminds people to, um, to not throw out their cigarette butt or put out their campfire, you know, all those things. Uh, to change uh, that sort of behavior. Um, here's another example. Many of you are probably familiar with uh, the Don't Move Firewood campaign. Um, just another example of a clear brand that tells people what to do. So now we're going to focus on invasive species, having looked at those other examples. 
Um, and I'll talk about now this uh, invasive species solution. Play clean go, stop invasive species in your tracks. Okay, real quick history of the campaign. Um, started in 2008 with funding from the USDA Forest Service. Uh, that funding was received by, uh, to the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources at the time. Um, uh, through uh, actually two iterations of funding, um, they did substantial behavioral and social research to determine what those behavioral trigger points are and how to connect to recreationists in a way that will actually produce uh, the results that we want, which is for them to clean their gear. Um, so the campaign was, was actually launched in 2012 by Minnesota DNR. And then in 2014, NASMA um, adopted Play Clean Go uh, because the organization at the time was looking for a universal message and outreach campaign for all of North America. And, at, and by that time, in fact, by 2014, the, the campaign had grown beyond the capacity of Minnesota DNR to really manage, manage it uh, because they, uh, it was purposely designed to be shared with uh, partners at all jurisdictional scales across borders. So, you know, basically the state agency said, you know what, we're not in the business of managing a national campaign. We need to find um, an entity who can manage it. And so that's where NASMA came in. Um, 2016, we signed an MOU to take over the campaign. Um, in 2018, just as a, um, a special note, we have an MOU now with the Forest Service who is adopting the Play Clean Go campaign throughout their regions. And we are actually also working on an MOU with Park Service, National Park Service, and the Fish and Wildlife Refuge System. Um, and I know that the Bureau of Land Management is now also working on a, an MOU. Uh, so today, uh, in 2019, we have over 560 partner organizations, and um, they're growing by the week. Uh, what is the strategy? Basically, the goal is to change public behavior. In order to do that, we have identified the beliefs and knowledge and values of recreationists. Uh, we've figured out how to connect with those values. And now, working with that, we, are, we have supplied the necessary tools to, partner, to partners and made that accessible. Um, we engage partners like you all, who um, uh, have noted on the chat box that you are already partners, and we hope that um, all of the rest of you on the call today will join us. Um, so we work with partners to provide those turnkey, customizable education and outreach materials. Um, I'll talk a lot a bit now about how the message is positive and flexible. Um, it's designed to be customizable with your local messaging and you can swap in your own local, um, your invasive species, uh, particular species of concern. Um, and I'll talk about how we are working more to amplify the reach and really the goal is to have the campaign um, with the greatest exposure throughout North America so that it becomes that Smokey the Bear symbol or the recycling symbol where you see this brand, you see the Play Clean Go brand um, and every recreationist sees it um, in many and all places where they recreate and it is, it is the universally recognized um, reminder to clean your gear. Why does it work? The brand has action steps. It very clearly states what you're supposed to do. Play, first of all, get out there and play, go have fun. But afterward, don't forget to clean your gear and then go to your next destination. So it's, it's, it's sequential. It's uh, play, then clean your gear, and then go on to your next fun destination. Um, very simple design, very clear, fun, modern color palette was chosen. Uh, very strategically, uh, when the brand consultant was working on the logo, um, you know, a lot of variations were, were considered, and this by far was the, the most popular um, design chosen by the, uh, the planning or the uh, strategic committee at that time. Um, and we're seeing now and more, as it was uh, designed to be universal, we are seeing partners use this brand for aquatic and uh, terrestrial applications. So we're seeing partners use the brand on boat landings, um, and not just trailheads, so anywhere they have a recreational access point uh, where they have an outreach opportunity. Um, I'll talk a bit how, about how we, there is a co-branding guide that gives you guidance um, as a partner on how to insert your logo um, and other messaging in any of our customizable materials. 
and I'm going to show you a bit about um, the large graphic library that we have accessible to you. Um, there, here's an image of the, uh, this is a page from the graphic, I'm sorry, from the graphic standards um, and the brand standards, um, just showing you examples of um, the messaging that can be swapped in and out of some of them uh, or any of the materials that we um, offer to partners. Uh, and this quote here on the left is from Per Espen Stoknes, who is actually an economist from Sweden. Uh, he gave a fantastic TED talk. I encourage you to look it up. It was, I found it really empowering and um, motivational. Um, and he basically talks about why, in his particular talk, he was talking about climate change. But the message is with any, any environmental or um, ecological um, outreach and messaging, the message needs to make people feel that caring for the earth is personable, doable, and empowering. And so, uh, you know, when I heard that and having already started to work on the Play Clean Go campaign, I was like, oh, well, this is why it's been, it's successful because it's positive and it tells people that they are part of the solution. So just really super excited about that. Um, again, another more examples of those boot brush stations. So the kiosk you see here, um, I know many of you or at least some of you, um, I know Hillary in particular, has, is using the boot brush station kiosk signage and um, has a lot of those boot brush stations. I know, uh, I think Hillary said you, you've got 60 boot brush stations across the state of New York. That's fantastic. Um, the boot brushes that you see those kids holding there, cleaning the, those bike tires, those are, um, uh, those are actually hoof picks. Um, they're originally designed to be hoof picks for horses, but um, those brushes work really great for boots and bike tires and uh, uh, baby strollers and anything you need to scrape off mud and seeds from. Um, so those are some, that's the tool that we offer, we sell uh, on our website. Uh, so fun is definitely a really critical part of the campaign. Um, I'm gonna talk, um, I'll show you, this is just a little bit of our social media. Um, outreach that we're, we're doing a lot more social media pushes now and encouraging partners to share and you know copy and post on your pages the same messages to drive people um, and just drive, drive that message home. Um, like we said in the beginning, just we've got to increase the number of times we communicate this message uh, through as many channels as possible and, and make it, keep it fun. Uh, so I'm gonna show you now some easily accessible um, uh, uh, graphics gra uh, from our graphic library and then I'm going to talk about the platform. We'll jump over to our website and I'll show you a bit about the um, Play Clean Go website and the partner resources. Um, again, so now as we talk about how you can customize uh, any of our graphic materials, um, this is another page from the brand guidelines that shows very clearly uh, where you can place the logo and you know gives you exact um, uh, you know, spacing around the brand and the, the tagline and colors. Uh, so just to help you keep the message consistent. Um, here's back, here are some of the uh, materials again that we offer on our website you can purchase. Uh, on the left there are Leave No Trace ethics cards we developed uh, with Leave No Trace. These are all ethics that um, align with their, uh, they have seven basically principles that um, they use to teach people about leaving no trace, and we basically customize those to include uh, fo or to focus on invasive species uh, cleaning and prevention um, and very specific tips. Um, in the middle are those boot brushes that I mentioned um, and hoof picks that you um, can purchase on our site. All of these are purchasable on the Play Clean Go website. Um, on the bottom are the uh, temporary tattoos. Those are really popular with kids. Uh, great for outreach events. And um, on the bottom right there is a Tucker the Turtle Field Guide that was um, developed by the Monongahela National Forest on West Virginia. Um, it was the Potomac Highlands Cooperative Weed Management Area that put this together. And it's a really great, fun uh, guide if you are ever looking for something like that to give out to your audience. Um, again, that's something we sell on our website. Okay, just gonna give a whole bunch of examples of the resources here. Um, that trail sign there is something that we sell. It's also something that you can download and customize with your, your logo and messaging uh, to place uh, wherever you are. Um, the boot brush kiosk is super popular. We're working on making it easier for partners to find the uh, vendor information to get those produced um, and installed. Um, more examples of the different um, banners, rack cards, posters, flyers uh, that are customizable and available on the graphic library. 
And the flexible formatting is really crucial. So basically all these are designed so that most of the document stays the same. And then just using Adobe Pro, you can pop in there and edit out, uh, for example, you know, t swap out that Don't Move Firewood logo and just pop in yours um, or swap out that messaging. If you don't want to do buy it where you burn it, you could um, you know, swap it out with um, any of the other positive messaging. Um, so I really want to drive the point home that this really does, the message does apply to all outdoor activities. It's really accessible um, for any kind of recreation access point. And even uh, we're seeing more and more uses by government departments. Um, looking at that bottom left picture there of the, tr um, the tractor, you know, more departments are using our work clean go messaging for uh, outreach to that sector. Um, and thinking about, you know, some, a lot of you are working in very forested areas, the forest service. I mean, timber is huge. Um, if you work with that industry, um, there might be an opportunity for you to reach out, you know, take some of our materials, customize it with Work Clean Go, and, and give those tools to, um, to that industry to help them prevent the spread. Hunters, big, um, you know, big outdoor recreation community. We've got um, messaging and materials aimed for that audience. Campers, boaters, bikers, again, field staff, um, another, some other examples of um, uh, materials that you can customize. Uh, here's an example from, I believe this was Montana. Yeah, so Montana put this little uh, lovely poster together. Ride Clean Go, um, aimed at the horseback backcountry riding community. Um, you know, they basically, they looked at the imagery that Minnesota DNR had put together and said, you know what, this, <laughs> this lake scenery is just not working for us. We need mountains, we need, <clears throat> we need horses. So, um, you know, they took this graphic that was in the graphic library, swapped in this image, changed the tagline to Ride Clean Go, um, and then put in their logos at the bottom. So just another example of that customization and add up adaptability to your region. Um, here's another example of leveraging um, other existing brands. There's the Stop Aquatic Hitchhikers uh, logo there. Oops. Um, we, one of the things that we learned, we've learned recently uh, from work done by Ken Donnelly up in Canada um, is looking, he did a, a research study looking at um, behavior, uh, not just with invasive species and not just with terrestrial invasive species, but um, other behavior issues related to recreation and basically found the more we combine brands and messaging um, in particular in thoughtful ways, like looking at this particular graphic as an example, we actually have a greater impact um, and more likelihood of, of seeing that behavior that we want. Because you might have, for example, you might have a recreationist who is a boater and or came into being a, a recreationist as a boater. And so they had exposure to that clean drain dry or the stop aquatic hitchhikers logo. Um, so they're familiar with that. They know what that brand means. It means clean your boat before you enter and before you leave. Um, combining this graphic with the Play Clean Go image is going to connect that person's understanding and recognition of the brand and message to the Play Clean Go message, which is don't just clean your boat, think about all of the potential places where you need to clean your gear. So after you play, just don't forget to clean your gear and then go to your next destination. And so this, you might see this, um, maybe this, this particular message or graphic piece was um, designed for placement a, in a campground uh, where you're going to have, you know, the blending of hikers, campers, boaters. Um, so just wanted to uh, just make sure that point is clear that, you know, if you're, if you're using Stop Aquatic Hitchhikers or Clean Drain Dry or some other brand, it's okay to use that with the Play Clean Go brand. And in fact, we will probably increase the likelihood of getting that um, desired behavior. Um, website, here's some example of website banners that some of our partners have done. Wyoming's on the top there. Um, I believe that was Minnesota on the bottom. Let's see. Um, and so why this now has become the universal outreach campaign is because it is now um, across all of North America. Um, it is really, like I said, designed to facilitate cooperation among diverse 
groups and geographic areas. Um, we have great representation across lots of different types of organizations. I won't dive into this too much. Um, but really critical to note is that we have um, partnerships across North America that are spreading this message. So if you are um, someone living in New York and you decide to go to Mexico, we hope that you will see the same Play Clean Go logo or brand uh, wherever you are um, enjoying the beautiful natural areas in Mexico. Um, we're gonna be working with uh, Canabio, the, uh, the agency who is adopting Play Clean Go to develop Spanish um, signage. So we're, they're going to translate the Play Clean Go into a Spanish brand that can be used um, not just in Mexico, but anywhere where um, we have bilingual uh, recreationists, which really is everywhere now. Um, and in, Can in Canada, the Canadian Council on Invasive Species has translated the brand into uh, the French translation. Um, I'm not going to attempt to say the French words because I will massacre them, but if you go to the CCIS website, you'll see what that logo looks like. Uh, knowing that New York borders Canada, you probably do have um, French-speaking tourists, so you know if you know that that's an issue, you could consider using um, the French species, uh, or sorry, the French uh, language as well. Um, so we are growing. I'm going to dive into the website in a sec. Here's an image from the partner map, interactive partner map on the website, where you can drill in, uh, find your local Play Clean Go partners. Um, here's, for example, in New York, here's uh, where you could drill in and find your organization, Catskill Region. Um, and I, believe, I think this is actually an outdated um, Screenshot, I think there are a couple more partners in here now from New York, so I apologize if you're not represented in this. So, you know, you just click on the pins, get contact information, and this is one of the benefits of joining Play Clean Go if you aren't already, is you have the opportunity to find out who's, who also is doing um, Play Clean Go messaging and figure out how you can leverage each other's resources. Um, get social. We're going to jump over to the uh, so Facebook platform in a minute, but um, so I'm going to show you how we're creating more and more messaging there. And we have grants now um, through the Farm Bill uh, Plant Protection Act uh, funding to, to really uh, do some targeted marketing. Um, our current, our fiscal year 18 grant, our goal was to have 500,000 touches in Eastern states. Uh, we've already exceeded that. Actually, this number here is old, I'm sorry. Um, that, this was a reporting from last month. I think we've, we've now exceeded that 500,000. And our new funding is going to allow us to reach over 3 million people, uh, recreationists, with, with the message. Um, other behavior change, behavior change strategies, we know that when we ask people to pledge, they're more likely to actually do it and continue to do it multiple times. So this is a pledge that we now have on the Play Clean Go website that you're welcome to direct people. Um, to take and pledge to, to clean their gear. Uh, growing resources, uh, we'll, we'll, we're gonna see more videos. Um, if you go to our Play Clean Go um, Facebook page, you'll see those videos. Uh, more are coming online in the coming weeks. Uh, more digital graphic materials showing the behavior um, will be accessible and, and customizable for partners. Um, again, that social, that social media is, we really see is becoming more and more critical as a way to, to reach um, our targeted audience of recreationists. And we're focusing now on a Play Clean Go Awareness Week. We're, we're, um, we're gonna do some targeted outreach and give partners tools to, to help us get awareness out during that week, um, June 1st to June 8th. Um, those are sandwiched around two National Awareness Days. I think it's a National Get Outdoors Day and National Trails Day um, are those first Saturdays in June. Uh, we also have webinars. We have a webinar series um, that started this year. Um, we had a great one last week with, from Chris Evans at University of Illinois talking about, uh, he actually showed research showing where, uh, showing that on the, on the bottom of those boot brush stations, they grew out what, uh, what hikers um, cleaned off their boots. And lo and behold, you know, it was just chock full of invasive species. So just showed that we are really, uh, we're having an impact. Um, here's, uh, we're going to jump over to the website, but here's what it looks like um, to go sign up to be a partner. Um, most of you will probably choose to be partner organizations. There are three different tiers you see there in those green buttons. Um, individuals are really um, truly individuals who want to support the campaign. The partner organization tiers um, provide tiered benefits depending on what level you choose, ranging from um, helping with customizing your, your graphic material, um, discounts on our pre-printed material and 
more. So I'll let, I'll let you guys uh, jump over there to the website after we get off the call. But um, and I'll, sh I'll hopefully I have a minute to to jump over there in a sec. So uh, I'm going to end by just asking. I hope that all of you will join us if you aren't already. Um, choose whatever partner level makes sense for your organization. Um, and really, we can't do this without you. You are our boots on the ground. You are our outreach um, opportunities to get this brand everywhere where recreationists are going, to the trailheads, campgrounds, boat landings. Um, and I uh, just hope that you uh, see the value in, in the brand and recognize that by sharing and using the same brand, we are really going to have um, a huge impact um, and, and have the uh, impact that we want. So uh, real quickly, these are some of our major contributors. Um, NASMA is the parent organization now of Play Clean Go and some of our other uh, government and um, business partners there. Here's my contact info. Um, this is, uh, so my contact info is there and, and Hannah Bowers is our communications and program manager. She's great. Um, Hannah's based out of Florida, but between the two of us, um, we can get you set up with anything you need. And with that, I'm going to just quickly jump over to the website and show you um, when you sign up as a partner. So I have logged in now as a partner. You have, you will see this menu option here that is you only see when you are logged in as a partner. This is not viewable to the general public. Um, so here's where the partner graphics rest and where you can download them and uh, customize for your uh, purposes. Um, so there's just tons of resources, ads, posters, um, children's materials, displays. Um, I'm not going to go through all of it right now because we're just about out of time. Um, let's just for fun go click on that work clean go and I'll show you something there. Oh. Okay, I'm not sure why that's not popping up, but let's try. Oh, you know what? I might be logged in. Oh, there we go. Well, let's just look at this. Um, you know, just to show you how easy it is to access it, you click on download, and there you go. So you've got that image that you can plop into whatever your outreach piece is that you need to customize. Um, let's go back up to, um, why don't we do ads and posters, and I'll just show you. Here's a range of different sizes of graphics, um, depending on what you need, ranging from rack cards and um, bookmarks, banners, things like that. Um, so, yep, you just grab, custom, download, customize, and off you go. Um, then I want to jump over real quick to our Facebook page where um, I encourage you to, you can go ahead and join even if you are not a partner and start to see the messaging that we're providing that Again, we hope um, partners share and use on your own social pages to drive the message um, to even more people. Um, this, uh, our latest post shout, gives a shout out to our Northwest Michigan Invasive Species Network partner. Um, and we're, so what we're trying to do is uh, focus on uh, you know, tagging uh, our partners, giving more traffic to your sites as well. Um, there's some really great videos. Here's our founder, Sue Burks. Uh, some of you may have had the chance to meet her, but uh, Sue actually retired this month. Uh, we're, we're really grateful we had the chance to capture her on video. So um, I'll let you uh, get over there at your leisure. And with that, I am actually probably over time and I probably have lost time for questions, but um, if there is time, I can take a couple of questions.